Thank you for visiting our channel. Today I came out to show you guys a brand new little box that I received from Worldwide Satellites and it is called MyJika. Now this MyJika box is dual core processor and it is a version ATV 1200. I'm going to unbox it and show you what's inside of this little box and also I'm going to show you how the software functions. It is an Android box so let me just unbox it and show you what's inside of it. You can see the box itself is really big. All right, first in the front, you can see the name of it is on the top. And also it does indicate that it's a dual core Enjoy TV. And on the side, it is a jelly bean running on it, which is 4.1. And the picture you can see is uh, pretty big. Also in the bottom, it indicates that it is a full HD 1080p. It comes with Android jelly bean 4.1. It does have built-in Wi-Fi. You can download your own games and you can play on it too from the Google Play Store. It does update over the air so you do not have to connect anything and update it that way. Also, you can go to the internet with it. Now, if we flip in the side, you can see it has a big writing that says Enjoy TV. And on the other side of it, it says MyJika and the name of the company. Also, same thing on the other side. Now, if we flip in the back, in the back you can see it has a nice looking pictures of what you can do with it, what type of connections you can use and all the specifications on a site. At the bottom it has all the FCCs and the information of where it's coming from. Let's just try to open the box. Once the top comes off I'm going to put this aside. So here's the box itself. Let me just put this aside too. And we got to take the cardboard box out of it so it does open. We can take this aside. Inside of it we have one remote and this one is an IR remote so I'm going to put this aside for now. Let's see what else is inside of it. And we do have the power supply, just a little plastic. And the power supply is all attached. You can see this part goes into the box and the other side goes into electricity. Now this one is created for United States and Canada. Also comes, let me just open this. So it comes with the RCA connection, which is the yellow, the white and the red. And also it comes with the component video, which is the, the red, the blue and the green. So both sides will connect and I will be showing you guys on the box itself. And the next part is the HDMI wire. So it comes with the HDMI, that's the best part. And also the little user manual for the box itself. So you can flip and you can get to know your remote, your box itself and the software. How to set up Wi-Fi and everything is going to be included in this. Plus with the XBMC information in this little box. So let's just put these all aside. So first the remote. If you flip it you can open the back and you have to put battery. Now it does not come with the batteries. So you have to get two AAA batteries and you gotta put it in. So the plus sign will be towards the bottom. And once that's done just hook it up. Now if you flip we will zoom in a little bit so we can see this keyboard a little bit better. So we have the power on the top, we have the mouse button and also the mute button. Bottom of that we have the up and down right and left button with the OK button in the middle. So you, that would be really useful when we are on XBMC. If you go back a little bit down we have the return button, we have the home button and we have the multitasking button. So this way it will help us out to get rid of the apps that are running in the background. Underneath of it we have the menu button, we have the little info button and then going down we have the volume up button and the volume down. Also page up and page down if you're into browsing. And if you go down a little bit it says MyJika. Nice looking logo. Alright so let's just put this aside and let's just open the box itself. So you have to flip it in the back. There is a little plastic that you got to open. And if you flip it on the top there is a little antenna which is already attached. It has the name on the top as it says enjoy tv and powered by android you have the little android logo on the side of it to make it a lot better so there is a little plastic we're gonna take this off too and if you look in the front you have the power button you have the indicator buttons like if it's connected to the internet your status buttons when it's flashing back and forth you know it's working and also the ir when you use your remote for it so if you flip it on one side let's just zoom in a little bit there is a full SD card slot on the side that you can put in. So if you have pictures or some sort from your camera, you run and it will play for you. You have four USB 2 ports. And when you flip on the back, this is the antenna for the Wi-Fi. 
and you have the Ethernet connection. Now the Ethernet connection is 10100 and when you're selecting it, when it's communicating, you have the little indicator LEDs on the top of it. You have the HDMI 1.3. You have the little reset button right beside it. And this part is for optical audio you can use. And if you want to use the coaxial, there's a little connection for it right on the top. But here's the best part. Now if you don't have a high definition TV or you want to take this to your cottage or you want to take this to your friend's house and they don't have a really new TV, don't worry. This will still work. You can use either the RCA connections, which is the yellow, white and red, or you can go and select component cables. Now, I came across a few of my friends that they had already used their three HDMI ports from their TV and there was no other way to connect it. But they forgot one thing that back of it, if you look, there is a RCA and a component connectivity. So that means it's the red one, the blue and the green. Now they can connect that and get their HD content on their TV. I know this is analog, but it's still going to give you a better quality than just this part. So if you have a HD TV and you don't have HDMI connections, now you can take advantage of these top ones. But for the audio, you need to use the white and the red one. And also right beside that is your power connection. So if you flip on a side, there's nothing on this side. And if we flip it in the back, you can see that it has, let me just zoom out a little bit. And when you flip on the back, you can see there's a lot of little holes so for ventilation. So this way it doesn't heat up and it doesn't have to burn itself out. So we just have to flip it back. And to demonstrate now, we're going to connect this on the TV. We're going to show you what's inside of it and a little bit of how it looks in the front. All right, so the first thing you're going to see is the power supply. As soon as you connect it, you're going to look at this part and it will be lit green. And if it is not green, then that means that your power is not working. So that's a really cool indicator when you're connecting the power. The second thing you're going to see is you're going to have to hook up your HDMI in the back. And once the HDMI connection is there, or if you want to use one of the component ones, once that's connected, you have to put your power. So that's what I'm going to do now. I'm just going to put something underneath so that way we can see it on the screen and also you're going to see something on the TV but at the meantime you're also going to see something in front of the box itself what kind of indicators that the green light is on that means it just got turned on and then on top of that on the TV you're going to see my GK logo it should blink about twice or three times and you're going to see Android logo just comes on and there you go it just came back on right now so I will be just leaving this so we're going to leave this alone and now use the gyro remote and now we can select next and we're going to say finish. Now this is the first boot inside of my Jika and you can see that how they have set up everything here. Now this is the first time that I've been playing with this so I haven't played this before. You can see the time automatically is not cracked yet so I have to set that up. So from the top you can see we have the Wi-Fi right here. And then we have the multitasking button. Bottom of it, we have time and we have the date, proper date on it. And then if we go to the side, we have the Amazon button. If you want to buy anything from Amazon, we have the YouTube button. We have the Netflix, Facebook and calendar. This is the top part. So it kind of reminds me of the Samsung layout, but this is way better. So we have the Play Store, the browser, the XPMC button. We have the media center itself, local media, so that we can play your songs, your videos, anything that you have. And we have the my favorites button also settings this box have a little bit extra information i just don't want to forget to give you guys a section says upgrade now remember most of the other boxes you do have to require in bringing the update on usb and you have to go into resetting the box and then updating it this is a lot better because it's going to happen over the air so now we can either do it locally you can go and do it update automatically online and once you go out now you can go ahead and set up your xbmc so if you want to all right, so today I came out to do an unboxing and also a little bit of demonstration. But for the meantime, I hope you guys like my video. If you do like it, click the click the like button, subscribe button on the top, comment on the bottom. Always remember to visit our own website, which is exitex.info. Like us on Facebook, follow us on Twitter, and thank you.